Meghan Markle has boarded a flight for her former home of Canada without her husband Prince Harry, it has been reported. So where is he? The Duchess of Sussex is said to have flown to Toronto, where she used to live, on an Air Canada flight. According to Royal News Hub Royal Central, Kensington Palace sent a letter to Air Canada asking that no one takes Meghan's picture of approaches her on the flight. She is also rumored to be planning a trip to California later in the summer. It is Meghan's first foreign trip without her husband since the loved-up pair tied the knot on May 19. Whereas Harry. Kensington Palace has been contacted by for comment, but it is not yet known whether Prince Harry will join his wife in Canada. However, earlier this month we reported on Meghan and Harry's summer plans, and it was already being suggested she might head stateside solo to spend some time catching up with pals before Harry flies out to join her. The couple, who have charmed the nation with their affectionate public displays, have hardly been separated since they married, so it's not likely they'll stay apart for long. But after was has been a busy few months for the royal couple since their wedding, Meghan is sure to be ready for some time out of the public eye. Prince Harry is thought to be in Botswana still, where he traveled alone on a private working trip to Botswana to join the annual general meeting for Rhino Conservation Botswana in his capacity as patron, a palace representative told us. Meghan lived in Toronto while filming legal drama suits, and she still has a lot of friends who live in the city. A wider American trip has been speculated for the royal couple, with a Us Weekly source saying, Meghan is looking forward to introducing Harry to everything she loves about the U.S. The couple are said to have recently spent some downtime at Balmoral Castle with the Queen, going on long country walks and having decadent picnics with the family. This latest trip comes amid a tough time for Meghan, as her already strained relationship with her father has taken another nosedive after his most recent scathing interview with the British press. Speaking to The Sun, Thomas Markle compared the British royal family to Scientologists, a controversial modern religion, and said they are cult like. This is the 74 year old's third such interview, after speaking to ITV's Good Morning Britain and the Mail on Sunday, where he made equally inflammatory statements. A friend close to Meghan told the Mail online, for the life of her, she can't understand why he's digging such a deep hole for himself and to say things like that. But in better news, it looks like Meghan's mum, Doria Ragland, is gearing up to make the move to the UK to be closer to her beloved daughter. Doria was the only member of Meghan's family to attend the wedding after Thomas pulled out of walking her down the aisle at the last minute. Dot in what was seen as the first gesture before the big move, Doria quit her job as a social worker for the Dee Dee Hirsch Mental Health Services Clinic in Culver City, La. Now, the 61-year-old is said to be beside herself with excitement at the prospect of joining the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in the UK. The source added, she is fiercely loyal to Meghan and would never betray her like the rest of them. They are so close. Meghan and her mum were often seen out together in the past, heading to yoga class and sharing a laugh. Harry is also very fond of his mother-in-law, calling her amazing in the couple's first interview after their engagement.